everyone, and welcome back to another week of story time with Growing Home Southeast. I'm Samantha, the Administrative and Communications Coordinator. If you're unfamiliar with Growing Home Southeast, we are a nonprofit foster care agency providing services to children and families across South Carolina and Alabama. This week, we'll be reading the book, That's Good, That's Bad, about a little boy who goes on an unexpected adventure. Be sure to stick around after the video for some questions that you can discuss with your family members. Let's get started. That's Good, That's Bad by Marjorie Collier. One day, a little boy went to the zoo with his mother and father. They bought him a shiny red balloon. It lifted him high up into the sky. Wow. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. The balloon drifted for miles and miles until it came to a hot, steamy jungle. It broke on the branch of a tall, prickly tree. Pop! Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. The little boy fell into a muddy river. Splat! He climbed up onto a roly-poly hippopotamus and rode to shore. Giddy up! Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. Ten noisy baboons were squabbling in the grass by the river. They chased the little boy up a tree until he was out of breath. Pant, pant. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. The baboons wanted to play vine swing with the little boy. What fun! The little boy grabbed a vine and swung out of their reach. Whee! Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. The vine was a big, scary snake that wiggled and jiggled and hissed. Sss. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. The little boy lost his grip, whoops, and landed on the back of a giraffe. Hooray! Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. The giraffe leaned over to drink some swampy water. Glug, glug. The little boy slid down its neck and fell into some quicksand next to an elephant. Slop. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. The elephant grabbed the little boy with his trunk and lifted him up, up, up onto its shoulders. Whoosh. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. The elephant thumped bumpily along to a grassy plain where it stopped to feed. The little boy climbed down his trunk and, broke, and woke up a daddy lion snoring in the grass. Zzz. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. When the lion saw the little boy, it purred Arr, and licked the little boy's face. Slurp. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. The little boy got all wet and sticky, yuck, and ran deeper into the jungle. It was as dark as night. Ooh, and the little boy was afraid. He sat down and started to cry. Boo hoo. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. His tears made such a big puddle that a stork came along to have a drink. Sip. It picked up the little boy with its beak. Wish. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. The stork flew the little boy across the dark, windy sky. Flap, flap. The little boy thought he would never see his parents again. Sob. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. The stork knew where it was going. It took the little boy back to the zoo and dropped him into his parents' arms. Plop! His mother and father were so happy to see him, they gave him a big hug and a big kiss. Smack! Oh, that's good. No, that's great.
Why did some of the events in the book seem good at first, but ended up being bad? Give some examples. Why did some of the events in the book seem really bad at first, but ended up being really good? Give some examples. Which animal was your favorite in the book? What did you learn from today's story time? That's it for this week's story time. If you enjoyed this week, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below telling us what you and your family learned this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.